Yeah. Oh god. Oh god, that fucking happened. <laughs> <laughs> and that's how you fuck yourself out of Warzone. So hopefully the point of this video is going to be demonstrating some shooting and moving. I should probably do this on duo so that there's more than one enemy for me to aim and shoot at, but I'll try to work on my movement either way. Um, dead center's airport, so I'm going to head that way. I don't plan on picking up any contracts, but um, the reason for this video is to prove that you don't really need uh, top tier aim. Obviously aim is important, you need to hit your target, um, but movement and positioning is oftentimes more important um, than being able to simply just hit your target. If you can work on your aim, then movement will also help drastically. Um, make sure that you have your gun out that you plan on using in your situation. Like, I have an LMG, and I shouldn't be running around. I'm going to try this new AN-94. Um, you shouldn't have your, SM or your LMG out, or your AR out, or your sniper rifle out. When you're in close quarters, you should have your, um, oh yeah, definitely heard a guy there. Hey friend. He's even doing quiet door opens. Let's see if we can sneak around each other. He's right to my left. Audio is a big one that helps a lot, obviously. This guy had dead silence. He knew that I was up there. He probably should have used it. Fair amount of kills I get are just out of audio cues alone. Like that guy. Had no idea. I did not see him at all. 100% just heard him. Um, I have a AN-94 class that I'm probably going to run, but since I have one picked up, um, I am going to use my AUG to get off the radar. Alright, so we got the early game done, got some money, got our loadout. Um, I don't think contracts are as important as people think. You obviously get your money faster, so don't think that I'm stupid there. But... Having said that, um, if you can get to an area that doesn't have a lot of contracts, you may be more free to loot. And there are $1,000 stacks of cash, sometimes $2,000 stacks of cash, all the time in boxes. So in my opinion, if you can loot freely... Oh, is this guy going to... Oh my gosh, it would be so cool if this guy hits my thing. I can't amount to that. Oh, okay. Just, you know, go fuck myself, I guess. Guys in here. I'm gonna go third party these guys. So there's for the movement, he knows that I'm up here. He can now hear me. So I'm gonna try to relocate to behind him. Hey, sunshine. No, he's definitely going to be off radar. So 
So he still thinks I'm in there, hence the why I re why I left. No, oh, okay. Ooh. So I did see that guy show up on radar, and I thought about pushing him, but can't push everybody. Uh, why I'm so bad at this gun? Just gonna pre-fire, I guess. Got me. Go ahead and grab this guy's shit that I left here. <laughs> Alright, so we got one guy doing a mark there. Check my map. Oh, we're still good in circle here. That's a little obvious. Oops. That's still a little obvious. See if we can get it right under that. There we go. We've got a vehicle battle. Uh, this is not my gun. Yeah, I picked up that other guy's gun. That is insanely f infuriating. Why won't this let me mount? My growl is right there. Not my gun still. There we go. Nope. There's a buy station kill right there. Proves that it uh, pays to be sneaky. He just got shot at. Oh god. <laughs> oh god, that fucking happened. <laughs> and that's how you fuck yourself out of Warzone. Alright, so before I so rudely interrupted myself by falling to my death, what I was trying to do <laughs> was not necessarily win a game, but not die that way. So this time I dropped uh, pretty close to center again, um, right outside a military base. Um, another tactic that I like to use, um, as whether it's team or solo, is if you have a plan on going someplace that you would like to go, say like police station over by airport is another one of my favorites, um, instead of dropping straight at it, drop at the buildings right before it, because there's probably going to be loot there that you can then use to push into the building that you want to push into. Uh, we're going to use Claymore. And I don't know if anybody's ever going to use this by station, but if they do, we know what's going on. Well, let's try to be sneaky. Can we get under this truck? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hope that doing that... Oh, actually, I have a really good idea. Let's put it like this. And then open this. Just heard somebody. Very, very close. There we go. You will never regret an investment in headset. I promise you that. So I'm actually going to hook this hilltop here. Area. See what's going on. Okay, that guy hit his buy station already. Get out of the middle of the road. Alright, got a guy at 38.5 meters. Alright, let's go get him. Not with that gun. Enemy team is tracking your position. I'm assuming he's gonna try to go for safety. Out here in the back.
I'm pretty good going. So you know this guy's gonna get hunted. So yet again, gonna move. Not so broad at all, yeah. So, I mean, I guess that's kind of the tactic that I was talking about. It wasn't very clean. Um, but the, the premise of it is, is to just not be... You gotta think about, like, who are the people that are easy to kill, right? He did a good job of trying to move. He was in, a, like, a fucking bunny hole, so it's not like he had a whole lot of options. But the point is, is, you know, if you're if you're here, right, and let's say this pillar is engaging you, you mount, pop, 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 pop. Well, he knows where you are. So, like, the easiest person to kill, then, is the guy that goes, oh! gets shot in the face and goes, what the fuck, bro? So, don't, don't be the guy. Don't be the guy that you like to kill. <laughs> it's a good, good strategy to keep in your head. Don't be an easy target. An easy, or a hard target to kill is an unpredictable target. So, I'm just going to keep flanking around the sides. So now this is iffy, because if I go on the inside of the wall here, I'm exposed to all of this. If I go in the outside of the wall, I'm exposed to this house where a lot of people like to camp. So I'm going to keep moving, and I'd like to get to this buy station here. Is the uh, end game here. Stick to the outside. I've been lit up from this little... Yep, there he is. So, back to not being predictable. I'm going to move out. And take advantage of him sucking ass. Thanks for the red card, boo! I actually don't even know where to go with those. Hell yeah. My growl's gonna like that. Um, let's do a UAV. And then I'll use it. Alright, we got a guy to hunt. Right there. I'm gonna get a side angle on this guy. See which way he goes. Requesting recon flyover. UAV entering the AO. Very exposed. But all worth it. Can't let him revive. Playing it nice and smooth. Don't have to get all crazy, rush. I mean, you're not going to win every game. I mean, you have to get that out of your head. Um, but just work on your tactic, work on your placement. Now, is standing in the middle of a field next to this truck smart? Nope. But I really want to see where this guy is.
So I know that one guy already sees me. Alright. Moving on. See if I can grab another UAV quick here. Ah. Let me just grab this instead. Let's see what this guy wants to do. system. I really don't know where this dude is going. I do not like uh, shooting at trucks unless it's imminent. Okay, there's two people here. Moving. Did see that. Let's take advantage of this third party situation here. Enemy UAV overhead. God, I felt like somebody sniped from over here. Not sure who the victor was. Oh yeah, he's definitely getting shot at from somewhere over here. I can't tell why who, who's getting sniped at by, but into the AO. where? Gas is inbound. Where? Safe zone. The hell is this guy? Get out of this freaking open here. I got that key card, don't I? I guess I could go to the bunker here and see what's up. I have no reason to go in here, but why not? See if I can get some money at least. I like to open boxes! We're gonna do a little bit of hunting. I'm gonna get my ass next to one of these uh, walls here and see if anybody pushes our way. So now I know like, you know, watching streamers and stuff like that, you know, because they're trying to get, they're, they're trying to get content. Um, you know, they're out running around and sprinting and being super aggressive and, you know, whatever. And that's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. It's just, if you're going for a W, like, aggression doesn't necessarily need to be the key. Um, I like to play it a little cooler and, um, take advantage of situations. Now, the only reason I'm not really taking advantage of this guy is because I, I just have an AR. Once he gets closer, I'll light him up, but... Keep him where I need him to make sure he doesn't see me. Alright, so now Gas is going to push him pretty much right to me here. So might as well use that to my advantage. So, the only reason that I waited for that specific spot was because if he shot him over here, right, he could have hid behind this corner, behind that wall. And uh, right here is wide open, like wide, wide open. So that's why I waited for that particular spot. Let's see what we got here. Circles actually really skinny over there. I have no reason for that loadout. But I see two boxes. So I am going to try to position myself in a way that I can take advantage of their disadvantage without being seen. I'm gonna have to get a lot closer than I wanted to, but I will lay down so that I'm not perfectly visible. And yes, this is kind of campy. It's almost the definition of it, but I mean, are you going for wins? Because that's what I play for. Now the trick, anytime that you're at least trying to stay out of the zone is not is not uh seeing you making yourself visible i believe that's a person i'm gonna light him up Ooh. 
Ooh. So if we watched his kill cam, he probably had no idea that I was there. Had I not moved, he might not have ever killed me. But 11th place, 8 kills, uh, good movement to think about. So hopefully that helped you guys, and uh, better luck in your games.